As of June 2022, the Guyana Police Force recorded a 15% decrease in serious crime, and according to Attorney General Anil Nandlal, the government continues to work towards a further reduction. He recently revealed that this can be achieved with the re-equipping of the National Forensic Lab. Crime is an issue which we must recognize, and I want to assure you that the government recognizes crime as a serious problem. And every day we are unfolding different initiatives and investing in resources to tackle this vexed issue of crime. It will not disappear momentarily, but we are putting in place institutions to ensure that the issue is tackled fundamentally, forensically, and scientifically. The Attorney General explained that this is being done to ensure the victims of crime and the state's interests are protected both at the investigative level and at the level of the criminal justice system. Every day we are working with the police force in ensuring that their investigative capabilities are improved. We have recently completed a historic program of training prosecutors who are holders of an LLB degree and who will be prosecuting in magistrate's courts across this country. Earlier in May, Minister of Home Affairs Robeson Ben revealed that the country's DNA testing capabilities are set for a massive upgrade with the procurement of new equipment costing the state some 300,000 U.S. dollars. Even though the forensic lab can perform DNA testing, there are challenges when those tests are to be conducted on badly decomposed bodies and in other circumstances where sampling is poor. When this occurs, the samples are usually sent overseas for testing, which has proven to be costly and timely. Reporting for the newsroom, I am Isanella Patwo.